The most basic construction is to copy a line segment. So we'll take line segment AB first. In order to copy it, we first have to establish where we're going to start our new line. We'll call that point A1. Then we need to place the point of the compass on point A and the other end on point B to measure the length of our original line segment. Then we transfer that onto point A1 and draw a small arc to establish the length of our new line segment, which should be the same as the original. Then, using the pencil, we will put one point on the arc and label that B1. Then, using the straight edge and a pencil, you will connect these two points, A1 and B1, to get a line segment identical to the original line segment. The next construction is the perpendicular bisector. The perpendicular bisector of a line segment such as AB is essentially a line through the center of the line segment that forms a 90 degree angle. To construct this, we will first take our compass, place one point on point A, and place the other one just over half of the line segment, and then draw an arc through the line. And then we will repeat the same process on the other side. The intersection of these two arcs gives us two points. We'll call these points A1 and B1. Then using our straight edge, we can connect these two points and that forms the perpendicular bisector of line segment AB and forms a 90 degree angle. The next construction is pretty similar to the last one, with a few minor adjustments. This one is the perpendicular at a point on a line. So we have our line with the point A1. This may not necessarily be the midpoint of the line segment, however, we can still draw a perpendicular through this point. To do so, we will put the tip of the compass on point A1 and draw an arc on either side of A through the line segment of equal length. Then, we will place the tip of the compass on this intersection and draw two large arcs as we did with the previous construction, the perpendicular bisector. Again, the intersection of these two lines gives us two points, which we can label as A and B. Then by connecting A and B, we form a perpendicular line through our original line at point A. A slight variation to the last construction. This one is the perpendicular to a line at a point not on the line. That point is point A, and we have our line here. To construct a, a perpendicular through point A through the line, we need to first place the tip of the compass on point A and place the other end more than the distance of the line. Then we will draw two arcs intersecting our line from point A. This gives us two points where these lines intersect that we can call C and B. Then placing the compass on point C and slightly extending the other end, we can draw two arcs from points B and C. This point of intersection we can call point D. Then using our straight edge, 
we can connect points A and D to form a perpendicular to a line at a point not on the line. The next construction is the perpendicular at the endpoint of a ray. So we have ray AB with endpoint A. To draw a perpendicular through point A, we need to first make a point somewhere not on the line. We'll call this point, point C. Then we will take our compass and measure the distance between point C and point A. Then transfer the same distance and draw a large arc through the ray and through point A. Then we will label this point of intersection between the arc and the ray as point D. Then using the straight edge, we will connect points C and D all the way to the circle. This is essentially the diameter of the circle. Then we will label this point of intersection as point E. Then by connecting points A and E, we formed a perpendicular at the endpoint of a ray. Constructing a parallel through a point. So to do this, we first have line AB and a point not on the line. To construct a line parallel to AB through this point, point C, we will first draw a line between A and C like this. Then we will take the compass and measure the distance between A and C. Then placing the tip of the compass on point A, we'll draw an arc through both lines. Then we'll place the tip on point C and using the same distance draw a similar arc. Then we'll label this point of intersection as point D. Then we'll measure the, the distance between point C and this intersection here. Using the same distance, we'll move it over to point D and draw another arc that intersects this one. And we can label this point of intersection point E. Then by connecting points C and E, we've made two parallel lines, A, B, and C, E. Dividing a line segment. This construction is a little, a little trickier than the previous ones, but it's a good one to know nonetheless. So to divide this line segment AB into any number of equal sections, we first need to construct another line segment from point A, like this. Then using a compass, we need to build four equal arc lengths along this segment if we want to make four divisions. If you want to make three, you can just make three arcs along this line. After making one arc, place the tip of the compass on one intersection and draw the next. So I've used four arcs for this example, meaning I will divide this line segment into four equal pieces. Once this, these arcs have been drawn, label this point, point C. Then from there, measure the length of line segment AC. Then put the point of the compass on point B and using the same distance, draw an arc. 
Then use the compass to measure the distance between C and B. Then transfer the tip of the compass to point A and draw an arc that intersects the previous arc we drew. Then label this point point D. Then using a straight edge, connect points D and B. Then using the compass, measure the distance between A and this first arc. Then place the tip of the compass on point D and make four arcs again on line segment DB. Then using the straight edge, connect each intersection to the subsequent intersection on the other line segment like this. This has divided the line into four equal segments.